Hi, I'm Paul Drew. I'm a producer, mix engineer, songwriter from the UK. This video is for Studio One users who are new to Revoice Pro. I'm going to show you in the three sections of this video how to get the Studio One audio you want to process quickly into Revoice Pro, how Revoice Pro can quickly tune, tighten and create double tracks, and lastly, how to get the audio processed in Revoice Pro back to Studio One. As you can see, we have a lead vocal, two double tracks, and one harmony track. Let's play the audio so we can hear the problems. My heart is in an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. You can hear that there are timing issues, a tuning problem, and also a sibilant problem that we will correct in Revoice Pro. I'm going to start the Revoice Pro standalone program. The next step is to transfer the audio from Studio One into Revoice Pro. To do this, we select all the events in Studio One that we want to process and use the copy command in Studio One, which is Command C. We then simply select Track One in Revoice Pro and use the Paste command to transfer the audio. You will see all the audio is copied into Revoice Pro and the tracks will be named the same as the Studio One tracks. In this section, we'll show you how quickly Revoice Pro can process the time and pitch of the audio and create corrected versions of the lead voice, but also a new stereo double track of the harmony. The next thing that we need to do is to create some tracks in Revoice Pro to hold the process's outputs. To create these tracks, we click here to insert the output tracks for the aligned dubs. We need to create two, and we're gonna name the first one output one. Click add and you can see the two output tracks here. We now need to add a track for the harmony output. Click insert track here. We don't need to change the name as Revoice Pro will automatically increment the track number. And click add. Let's listen to the lead vocal by pressing the one key. This will solo track one. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. Nothing at all So twisted and broken Lost in the storm To transfer the time and pitch of lead 1 to the double tracks lead 2 and 3 We need to create an APT or audio performance transfer process for each lead double Let's select the guide audio To create the APT process we need to right click here and select new APT the range is the selected audio as shown here. We will select the preset vocal, slightly loose time and pitch. Our guide is lead one. The first dub is lead two. The first output will be output one. And because we want to create two processes at the same time, we turn on fixed track offset and click create multiple processes and change the number of processes to two here. Click New Process. Revoice Pro has instantly created the two time and pitch aligned output tracks. And if we mute the original doubles on tracks two and three, we can hear the guide and the two processed outputs. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, Lost in the storm. We can hear all the tracks are now aligned, but you might also hear a note that needs tuning and an S that we want to lower in level. We will use the warp function on the lead voice. To do this, right click here and select Edit Audio. Right click again and select Make Warp Region. Click here to expand the track to full height and use the T key to zoom in. We're going to select a range of audio that we want to hear and then press the Y key to create a playback range. Let's hear the selected range. My heart is an ocean. As you can hear, that last note was flat so we need to click and drag the note to the desired pitch. 
Let's listen to the whole section. My heart is an ocean. Now that we've corrected that, let's listen to the next phrase. So twisted and broken. What we'll do is to modify the level of the S sound in the word so that is indicated in the blue block. The blue blocks indicate sibilance and are marked automatically by the warp and APT processes. We can click the S block and then the Y key to select the playback range for that sound. A new feature in Revoice Pro 3.3 is that by pressing the S key now, we switch to showing a level profile of the signal with a dB scale on the left. By holding down the Alt key and dragging the sibilant blocks, we can modify the signal level in 3 dB steps and listen to the change. So we can undo the change with Command Z and hear the original level. So by pressing the keyboard S key again, we can return to the pitch and time display. We now want to display all the tracks again. So we click this icon and zoom back out by pressing the R key. Let's solo the guide and the two output tracks from the APT processes and listen to how well the double tracks are aligned in time and pitch, including the note we tuned. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. The next thing we want to do is to thicken the Harm 1 vocal by creating a stereo doubler. We right click here and select new doubler. For our preset, we will select stereo vocal loose timing. Our input is correctly showing Harm 1. And the doubler's output is going to output 3. Click new process and the doubler process instantly creates the output. We can press the E key to solo the doubler's input and output tracks and press play. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. Now that we've completed our processing, we need to transfer the new audio from Revoice Pro back into Studio One. Since we adjusted the lead voice, we need to transfer that back. To do that, first click here and make sure the waveform is dark green, which means that it is selected. Click the Revoice Pro edit menu and then click copy selected process output. Now, before we paste the audio back into Studio One, in order to keep the original audio available, we will need to set up layers. In Studio One, select the lead tracks, right click, then select layers, and then add layer. And now in the edit menu, we can complete the lead voice transfer. Select paste at original position, which puts the process lead one in the correct track and position without having to select the track. Now go back to Revoice Pro. Select the output one audio, which is the tightened lead two double from the first APT process. Click edit, click copy selected process output, go to studio one, Click edit, then paste at original position. And repeat this process to transfer the processed audio from Revoice Pro Output 2 to Studio One Track 3. So now we have the process guide and the two Titan doubles in Studio One. Lastly, we need to copy the output of the Harm 1 doubler by selecting it. Click the copy selected process output. Again, paste at original position. In this case, the audio will go over the input audio, but you can simply drag that to a new track, leaving the original in place. So now we have the original Harm 1, its stereo double, and the process doubles of the lead voice. Let's listen to that. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm.